Hey everybody, Josh from Populi here. Today we're gonna have a look at how you can connect Populi with Turnitin and use that software to check student assignment submissions for plagiarism. We've had an integration with Unicheck. They're also a plagiarism checker for quite a while now, and they were recently acquired by Turnitin. The situation there is that Unicheck still works as a software, but they're not gonna take any new customers. So if you want to use a plagiarism checker, you'll need to get an account with Turnitin. If you already have Unicheck, Unicheck will continue to work just fine until whenever Turnitin decides to migrate you over to their service. What is this, a baking show? Because we're talking roles. In order to get this integration turned on, you'll need a Populi account admin, a PAA, to log into their account and then manage the setup that way. Once that's set up, users who are assigned as faculty on particular courses will be able to go to those courses and then use the checker to check student work. Let's have a look at setup. Part of it is on the Turnitin side, so you'll have someone with administrator access over there go in and set up a scope and key. There's a link in the description of the video that you can follow that will take you to documentation that explains how to do this. Once you have the scope and key set up, copy the API secret. Once you have that, you'll have a Populi account administrator go to their instance. They're gonna click on their initials or profile picture here, click on account and settings, and then under account here, click on account settings, and then go to integrations. They're gonna choose add an integration right here. It'll be a built-in integration. And then for integration type, you want to choose turn it in. And then you'll get the turn it in URL for your school. It'll probably be something like your school's name dot turn it in dot com that you'll enter there. And then you're gonna take that API secret from turn it in. And we in Populi just call it an API key. So you'll bring that in there. And then once that's all set, you're able to choose your indexing options. Indexing allows you to choose what you'd like to do with student submissions. If you'd like to kind of keep them as a database so that you can check future student assignments against those assignments there, you'll want to index all submissions. But your other options are to not index submissions or allow instructors to choose when they want to include those submissions as part of that database of text that they're checking. These last two settings here allow you to choose how you wanna handle um, instructors in various courses seeing details about submissions in other courses that are showing up as matches. Once you save, all your faculty will now have the option to check for plagiarism on file and essay type assignments, as well as the peer review version of those assignment types, and then also on online tests. Additionally, you can check individual discussion posts and replies. Now let's look at how a faculty user would set this up on a particular assignment. We're gonna go to a course, and then go to assignments and then choose add an assignment. We're going to fill out this assignment. Once you've got all those details filled in, you can see that we've got the plagiarism checker options down here at the bottom. You can choose to automatically check student submissions. And then you have some options there as well for how the report visibility will work, whether students will be able to see the report or not. And then you can also choose to individually manage report visibility for students. We're gonna leave that to manual because we wanna show how it works checking individual student assignments in Populi. So let's save that. We'll go to the assignment here, click on it. You can see that we have some students whose work has already been checked but this student who submitted a file, the work hasn't been checked yet. We're gonna to go to that assignment and then you'll see this little option over here. That's the button you click to check for plagiarism. We'll click that. We're going to exclude the bibliography and then any quotes here and then start that. So now that's gonna to start to process and then we'll just wait until it's all done. Now that that's done, you can see here that we have 
the plagiarism report. If I click here, I can see that report. When we get that open, we can see that report. We can see that in this case, there's no similarity to other work. So that's good. This is plagiarism free, but then we'll go back and have a look at some of those other assignments here. And you can see their reports look quite a bit different. You can see that this report shows a high overall similarity score and then shows the, the sources that are being used to demonstrate that similarity between this paper and other work. To check test essay questions, you'll go to the test and then view history there, and then click on the start time. And then down here where you're looking at the essay, you'll see that option to check for plagiarism. Click that and you'll start the plagiarism checker going. You'll be able to check back in in a little bit to um, see the results. We can also check comments on graded discussions. So we'll go down to discussions here. We'll click on this discussion and then I'll go down to one of these comments here and you'll see if I click these three stacked dots, I have the option to check for plagiarism. So now that's running and eventually you'll be able to check back here and see the results. And there it is, plagiarism checking in Populi with Turnitin. For more details, you can have a look at the knowledge base article that's linked in the description below. Thanks for watching. I'm Josh from Populi. Go ahead and click subscribe. And then when you get that little notifications bell, click that ding, ding, ding to get updates about new videos when we post them. You can also click like, you can and you should. Also, we've got all of our social media linked below, so check us out there as well. Have a great day.